Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Anaconda, which is a Python distribution on your Mac operating system. So first of all, what is Anaconda? So Anaconda is a free and open source distribution of Python and R programming languages for scientific computing, such as data science, machine learning applications, and large scale data processing, etc. Now Anaconda comes with really nice tools such as Jupyter Notebook and Spider, which are really easy and convenient to use. And nowadays Anaconda is also used by beginners to start learning Python. So let's see how we can download and install Anaconda on our Mac operating system. So first of all, you just need to go to this website, which is www.anaconda.com and you will be able to see this kind of interface and then you just need to click on the downloads button and once this download page is open you will be able to see that this website will automatically detect whether this is mac operating system or windows or linux operating system and because we are installing this on our mac operating system so automatically this option will be selected which is mac and then here you will see two options one is python 3.7 version and other is python 2.7 version so we are going to install this version which is the latest version so i'm going to just click on the downloads button and then you will be able to see this download will start now at the time of making this video this file is about 634 megabyte file so it will take some time to download so i will wait for the download to complete also, if you want the cheat sheet for Anaconda, you can provide your email address here and get the cheat sheet using this email address. So now you can see that this PKG file is downloaded. So I'm going to click on this .pkg file and then I'm going to minimize the browser. And in few seconds, you will see this kind of window. And this says this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. So I'm going to just click on continue button. And then I'm going to just click on continue first of all. And here you will uh, get some information about Anaconda. So I'm going to click continue. And then you need to agree with these license terms and conditions. So I'm going to click on continue once again. And then I'm going to click on agree. And now you will see this window which will ask you to provide the destination. So I'm going to just click on install for uh, me only and then click continue. And here you can see 2.2 GB of space will be taken on my computer. So I will just say install, which is going to start the installation of Anaconda on my Mac operating system. So now I will wait for the installation to complete. So now the installation of Anaconda is complete on my Mac operating system. And now you will see this window, which will ask you if you want to download and install Microsoft Visual Studio Code on your Mac operating system or not. So I already have Visual Studio Code on my Mac operating system. So I will skip this step and I'm going to click on continue, which is going to show me the summary. And then I'm going to click on the close, which is going to close this uh, window and move this uh, installer to the thresh. So I'm going to just click on move to thresh. And now once Anaconda distribution is installed on our Mac operating system, we can just click on uh, launchpad icon and then you will be able to see the anaconda navigator icon here so i'm going to click on the anaconda navigator icon which is going to start the anaconda navigator and using this anaconda navigator we will be able to launch jupyter notebook or spider ide so now you can see anaconda navigator is launched and i'm going to first of all click on OK here and you will be able to see these icons. So here you can find some tools which comes pre-installed with your Anaconda distribution. And these tools are Jupyter Lab, Notebook, Qt Console, Spider, GlueWiz or Orange 3 tool. Now there are some tools which you can also install which is RStudio or Visual Studio Code. So you will be able to see in this install button under the tool which you want to install or if it's already installed you will be able to see this kind of launch button so let's first launch the jupyter notebook using this anaconda navigator so i'm going to click on the launch button which is going to open the command prompt first of all and after some time it's going to launch the jupyter notebook on your default 
browser. So now I can see this Jupyter Notebook is launched on the Safari browser, which is my default browser. And let's say I want to go to the desktop first of all. And here, let's say I want to create a new folder. So I'm going to click on new here. And then I'm going to just click on folder. And this folder is first of all, untitled folder. So I'm going to just click on untitled folder. And once I'm in this untitled folder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Python 3 here, which is going to open the new notebook on the next tab, which is going to launch the Jupyter notebook on the next tab. So now from here, I can change or give the name to my notebook. So let's say I want to just say this is my first notebook. So I'm going to just say first and then click on rename, which is going to rename this notebook. Now in here, I can give some commands. So for example, I want to just test whether it's working or not. So I'm going to just write two plus two and then press enter. You can see by pressing enter, it's not going to give you the result. But when you press shift enter, it's going to print the output and give you the next cell. So this is how it works. So whenever you want to execute some command or statement, you just need to write that command. So for example, I'm going to just write a equals three and then press enter. And let's say I want to print the value of a. So I'm going to just write print a and then press shift enter, which is going to print the value of a, which is three. So this is how you can open and use Jupyter Notebook. Now let's see how we can launch the spider IDE. So I'm going to go to the Anaconda Navigator once again, and then I'm going to go to the spider icon and then click on the launch button, which is going to launch the spider IDE. So now you can see spider IDE has been started. And here also we are going to just try to do something with Python statement. So I'm going to just write two plus two. And in order to execute this command, you just need to select, select this line and then press shift enter, which is going to execute this statement on the console, which you can see on the right hand bottom side here. Also, if you want to execute a command, you can directly execute it on the console here. So you can just write two plus two and it's going to show you the result. In order to import some uh, package, for example, I want to just import numpy. So I'm going to just write import numpy as np and then press enter, which is going to import the numpy module into the console. So now you can use uh, this numpy to just test whatever you want to do. So let me just close this uh, spider IDE and I want to show you one more thing. So if you open the terminal after installing the Anaconda, you can also check for the conda command if it's working or not. So first of all, what is conda? So conda is an open source cross platform language agnostic package management system, which we can use with the Anaconda distribution. So in order to check whether conda is working fine, you can uh, just write conda info and then press enter. It's going to show you the information about the conda version. So you can see conda version, which is installed right now is 4.5.11 at the time of making this video. Now, if you want to launch the Jupyter Notebook or Spider from the terminal, you can also do that. So let me open a new terminal by right clicking on the terminal icon and then press on a new window. And once uh, this terminal is open, in order to start spider, I can just write spider and then press enter. And this command is going to start the spider IDE. Let me open one more terminal and let me show you uh, what is the command to open the Jupyter Notebook. So in order to open the Jupyter Notebook, you can uh, just write Jupyter Notebook. But right now you can see the spider IDE is initializing right now. So let's uh, open the Jupyter Notebook also by the command line. So just write Jupyter Notebook here and then press enter, which is going to start the Jupyter Notebook in your default browser, which is Safari in my case. So you can see uh, the 
Spider IDE is started using the command line and also the Jupyter Notebook will start after some time in your default browser. So you can see this uh, Spider IDE has been started and I will wait for the Jupyter Notebook to start. So now you can see Jupyter Notebook is also started on Safari. So in this way also you can open the Jupyter Notebook and uh, Spider IDE using the Mac terminal. So this is how you can uh, download and install and use Anaconda distribution on your Mac operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.